what up everybody? I'm headed east and I'm in a car. Actually, in my friend Subaru, she kindly let me borrow it. She was originally supposed to join me today, but today I'm off to the Colorado's first tiny house festival. So, I know I haven't talked about tiny house much on this channel. I did talk about it a long time ago, but I'm still all for him and living smaller lives. Not necessarily everyone doesn't need to go to a tiny house, but realizing you don't need tons and tons of room as much as it is nice. Um, I don't know how much I'll be filming. I don't know how much I'm allowed to film. I don't really cover events and stuff. This is my first time kind of doing that as a YouTuber-ish. So we'll see. Um, hopefully we'll see some cool houses and I'll at least get some pictures and stuff. Subaru! Also, because this is Colorado, I don't know why that makes sense. This is actually being held at a wild animal sanctuary, which is super cool. See, here behind me, one of the cool things I'm seeing more these days is actually a steel framing. Now, I just talked to the guy who actually rolls out the steel, and say like 18-inch foot trailer, they're expecting it to be about one-third the weight of a traditional timber. Um, and it's just 20 gauge steel, rolls it out, the verticals are 7 inches wide, and then they're like 3 in a bit, and then the horizontal is 6 rolled out, and still gives you tons of room to add insulation, they pre-punch everything. It's super cool. And this is, a, this is a company, they originally were just making trailers for tiny houses, but now they have expanded and started adding steel frame, which is really cool to see. Much, much needed, and if anyone questions the strength of the steel, he used to use the same gauges, the same rolls, for 14 story buildings. So they're very structurally sound. Get pee in the shower, huh? So behind me you can see a hippie bus taken to a new level. Now that is an actually old retired school bus and I talked to the guy and he ended up buying it for 5000 which is a bit more expensive than what you would normally buy a bus from. Um, and fully working, took out all the seats and you saw the inside. Uh, it's really pretty, uh, still a work in progress for him. A really nice guy, he was just looking at going for a bus because he was seeing how tiny houses were getting really expensive. And he's saying you can spend up to $100,000 for a tiny house and then you gotta have a vehicle for it and you gotta have somewhere to park it up and it's a big trailer. So he went for the bus and he's saying, you know, this is the bigger end of buses. You can get short buses, vans, so it's really cool to see him and chat with him. He's a really, really nice guy. Um, but I think it's one of the coolest things here. No, I don't have any. That one was a little bit. Yeah. We'll probably end up weighing about half because if this can hold about 18,000 of those, we'll probably be about nine. 
So you're going for like the biggest loft you can here? Yeah, 15 feet deep. Yeah, so this actually maps out a little... It'll hold a closet and a headboard. Uh, there you go. There's still plenty of room for California Kiki oh. if you want it. Are you going to go for the California Kiki? No, we're going for just the Queens. <laughs> <laughs> we slept on a few of them and it just feels like we're so far apart I can't do it. Yeah, oh, no, I know that. <laughs> Alright, this is like a huge room. Yeah, it's like a big 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 room. Yeah, at least 24 plus foot trailer. I haven't seen the inside. To give you an idea. Integrated bike storage here. Which, by the way, nice bikes. I love the Santa Cruz. But, special design trailer. Has water pipe and everything underneath. So, you're seeing a lot of these tiny houses on these trailers. Sorry, it's really loud here. So, seems like customized trailers is what it is these days. Now here's something cool that I always thought about and I hardly see anyone implement, is having a deck. And this way, you just loft one side, and then you just have the roofs just a little bit lower on the other, and then you just have a deck to go sit out on. Though, to be fair, a lot of people are just making patios these days, so. That's kind of more the route people go. So I'm exploring more over here. This is like a fun innovation. This is an old horse trailer. Just some bottles of water and a, and a sink. Sink it. Let's go out. Just back a little candy stove. The bed folds down. Looks like. Yeah. It's just like camping. Yeah. Camp all day, every day. That's the way to go. I know, I like these. <laughs> It's got a fold out living space there. Now, because of the way it's fold out, you can't have a whole lot on the inside of it. Um, I haven't gone in, but um, the other side, from what I can see, the other side is all cabinetry in the kitchen, and then that fold out part right here is just kind of an empty space. A little bit of little shelves in there, um, which is cool, but it seems to me kind of like it'd be nice for like having extra indoor living space, especially in the winter. But from what I understand, a lot of these people, when I've talked to them, is they tend to build out a little awning once they get like an actual house situated. So it's kind of give or take. If you really wanted that for the winter, maybe I don't know. Seems like a lot of work and a lot of engineering for something. But it's really cool to see that people are doing stuff like that. Oh. 
It's so cool. So this has got all the amenities. This is a good size. I don't think the stairs are to code, though. <laughs> I don't think you can build stairs to code in a I'm liking all the induction ovens though. These are like, it's a countertop and then, I guess that one doesn't open. Oh, here it is. That's cool. Or when we get to campgrounds, a lot of the... Oh, this is actually a big shower. Campground, we could give them their, give them our laundry. <laughs> well, they have these bags and this is how I wash all my clothes. Is, it's just like a dry bag, but it has like little studs in it, and you just put soap, and then you just like scrub it in your sink in the dry bag, and your hands are dry. This is really cool. Well, that's pretty much it for the Tiny House Festival. I stayed for a little bit for uh, a talk from the owner of um, Trailer Maid, which almost every tiny house there was on a trail made, trailer made trailer, which is a really good talk. And then also the owner of Simplicity, um, which is a tiny house manufacturer out of Lyons, Colorado. Also a fantastic talk. Um, and I didn't film those. Don't know. Legal of what I'm, if I can, I'm allowed. So I just didn't. Really good talks. Um, but generally to sum up kind of what they were saying is, Tenements are a bit more expensive than you think, um, and you can, um, a big issue right now definitely is the government um, regulations of whether it's, you know, a, is it a, a trailer, is it a mobile uh, home, or uh, I forget what some of the other terms they were saying, they, they had like a million terms for it. So it was just kind of picking out which one is that and how we can work with the government to work around regulations or find what regulations they fit, bridging gaps, and talking to them like that. Um, I didn't see every single tiny house, as you probably you noticed there was tons of other ones to see. Um, I've watched so many tiny house things online, so I felt like I have a pretty good idea. I just wanted to be inside quite a few, or some of them, especially some of the smaller ones, to get more of an idea of how they're working with space efficiency. One last thing I would uh, say is if there is a tiny house or some sort of festival like this in your area or close to you, definitely go to it. Um, even even if you're not super into tiny houses, um, it's just a kind of cool thing to look at them and kind of get an idea of what some people are doing. And it just gives you a better understanding of what the movement is. Or if you're into it, it gives you tons of information um, about what legal issues you're going to be encountering, what cost, and how to actually build a tiny house. And other than that, have a good one.